Hello and welcome to the What's New in Cabinet Vision Solid version 10 video series. In this video, we're going to be going over the new features that you can find in the assembly level of Cabinet Vision. In Cabinet Vision, when you want to section a pair of doors in a way that one of the doors has one layout and the opposite door has another, you would currently have to select the pair door, then click on the vertical split button, to create two separate doors that you could now individually section to your liking. Beginning with Cabinet Vision Solid version 10, you'll no longer have to do this. Whenever we have a pair door, we can double click on that door, and if we look next to the section door button, we can see a new drop down. If we expand that out, it shows all, one, or two. What this allows us to do is specify to Cabinet Vision that the sectioning that I'm about to perform should apply to either all the doors in the section, the first door, or the second door, going from left to right. This new feature is also available on sliding doors. And one quick note, if I change the quantity of doors from 2 to let's say 4, and I then double click on the section, you'll see that I can still section each individual door on its own. To see this in action, let's go ahead and change it back to pair door. If we look at it in 3D view, we can see I have a flat panel style door. Let's change the left one so that it has a larger rail and hit OK. When I hit OK again and then go to the 3D view, you'll see that only the left door was given a larger rail. Several enhancements have been made to the door section editor. Let's section a door so we can see what's available to us. The first new feature has to do with the door panel. So if I click on it, it doesn't really look like anything new is there. But if I expand the type drop-down, you can see that we have the new None panel type. This allows us to remove the panel from a door at the section editor. I've removed this panel, so let's click OK, then click OK again, then go to the 3D view to see that my left door no longer has a panel. Next, we'll go back to the section editor, and we'll go back to section the doors, and we'll look at the next new feature. This affects both the styles and rails of the doors. What we can do is we can select, let's say, our left style, and we can see that we have under the adjustments a length adjustment here. This value allows us to specify an additional length that needs to be added to an individual style or rail. It should be noted that this is a reporting adjustment only. This value will not show up in 3D views, in the S2M center, or any other view you will see this only in the report center. To see what I mean with this, if we set this to a high value number, like let's say 25 inches, then click OK, then click OK again, we can go to the 3D view and see that my left style on my left door is the normal length. If I now click on the reports button, go to the report center, go to my door reports and look at my door checklist, you can see that my left hinge door's left style is much longer than the left style on the right door, 25 inches in fact. There have been some great assembly level enhancements that increase the usability of Cabinet Vision Solid. As you can see, I'm in the order entry mode of Cabinet Vision Solid with a single cabinet. Let's take a look at the cabinet. You'll notice that it's the one that we've been working with this whole time. We can see that I have three drawers on one side and four drawers on the other, a pair door and a single drawer here in the middle. Let's say that this was for a his and hers bathroom that had separate areas. I wouldn't want to put the same cabinet in the same locations. Rather, I'd want to have a mirrored cabinet that would complement this one for proper aesthetics. In previous versions of Cabinet Vision, this would require us to create a copy clear out the sectioning 
and then rebuild it. This can be tedious and possibly lead to mistakes. With Cabinet Vision Solid version 10, we've made it easier to do this by giving you the ability to mirror the cabinet without any hassle. Let's go back to our order entry and let's delete this cabinet that we made. Let's make a new copy. We'll now edit it and now we'll just expand the modifications menu so we can see our new feature, the reverse assembly command button. When I click on that, you can see that it's flipped the cabinet around exactly as I need it. A quick note on this, this is only available for the sectioning. Any user added parts added in the orthographic viewports will not be switched around. The next new feature we can see by going directly into the 3D view. If we look closely at the lower left hand of the screen, we can see that we now have an additional slider for transparency. Let's slide this up to, let's say, about halfway to see how it works. Now you can see, I can see through all of the solid pieces of our cabinet. It should be noted that if I go to PhotoVision and tell it to do a full architectural rendering, that transparency will actually carry through. The next feature I want to go over gives us a little bit more keyboard control while editing a cabinet. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, let's go to an orthographic viewport and let's go ahead and add a new part. Let's just put in a simple panel. Now let's say I don't really need this part anymore or later on in engineering it's decided that it can be removed for cost cutting. In previous versions we needed to right click on it and select the delete command. But starting with Cabinet Vision Solid version 10 we can actually just click on the part and using our keyboard press the delete key to remove that part from our assembly. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on the new features of Cabinet Vision Solid version 10. If you would like to learn more please visit our website at www.cabinetvision.com